Hey there, welcome to the Perfume Experience. My name is Rodney and I'm back again with another review. So this time I'm going to review a Budget House fragrance and this is the first time that I'm doing something like this. So this is the Wildstone Badass Collection and there are three fragrances in this particular box and we're going to review them. So let's get to it right after this intro. So Wildstone has released this particular collection, it's called the Badass Collection and it's basically got three uh, fragrances. Now the couple of things that they've got right is one is really good nice packing. If you look at the packing, it's really nice and it kind of opens like this. You have those three fragrances here. Um, it tells you that it's too bad for good guys and then there is a little bit of a brief about the fragrances at the back. It talks about li little about the notes and all of that. A uh, lot of great detail but just gives you a little bit of hint. Right, so what are the three fragrances? There are three, which is one is called Ammo. The next one is called Whiskey. And the last one is called Cigar, right? So you can directly kind of, you know, imagine that this is a collection of fragrances which are more dark, masculine, uh, you know, that kind of a fragrance, uh, you know, uh, fragrances. And primarily for somebody uh, who is looking at uh, wearing these fragrances for their own in the sense this is not to please anybody else these are fragrances primarily to please yourself okay so that is the idea behind this particular fragrances and i'll tell you why i kind of you know think that way now <clears throat> the first one on this particular list that i'll talk to you about is called ammo okay now ammo is a fragrance that's got notes of pepper it's got patchouli and you know some other elements but primarily musk as well uh, so when you kind of put this on this is for me uh, one of the lower uh, performing type of a fragrances okay so the reason why i say that is when you kind of put this on you get a blast of um, pepper okay uh, but then you also get a little bit of that musk element and after that it kind of goes into a little bit of a dry down so immediately kind of goes into the dry down uh, one other element to say that this is done well is the bottling and the presentation is done really well especially the atomizer that is kind of placed is really really nicely done so it doesn't appear flimsy these are 20 ml bottles that you kind of get so that way these are nice uh, one of the flaws that i kind of recognize with all three of them is the opening has got a strong alcohol blast so that is something that you will not you know recognize instantly beat any one of them you get that alcohol blast now coming back to ammo so like i said it's got that patchouli it's got that pepper and it's got musk so in the uh, after the first 15 20 minutes time you straight away kind of get that musky element which is a little light powdery this is uh, you know got the opening for about 15 minutes at max and after that it kind of fizzles out so the, even the dry down is not a very great uh, you know uh, scent profile it's just a very dry powdery kind of thing uh, not a very great fragrance in my opinion so this you kind of you know kind of uh, easily can skip okay so ammo is just about the name uh, it's not really as powerful as you'd expect it to be so you kind of you know skip this the next one on this particular list that we can talk about is called Cigar. Okay, now this has got uh, notes of uh, tobacco uh, and uh, let me just check if I'm not wrong. It's got tobacco. Yeah, it's got nutmeg as well. Now about this particular fragrance, though it talks about tobacco and if you're thinking that it could be a tobacco fragrance, something like Mancera Red Tobacco or of these, uh, that is not the case. Uh, fortunately, these are all... Uh, you know it looks original blends these don't look like you know they're copies of any other particular fragrance now this particular one i put in a few uh, couple of sprays a few minutes back but just to go back to it it doesn't harm at all because performance is pretty weak in this okay so you get that alcohol blast and immediately you get a very nice sweet note okay uh, that note probably is because of nutmeg there's a little bit of that nice sweet element that comes to it and immediately after that like you know within the first 10-15 seconds after that note it kind of switches very quickly to a very dark ash kind of a note so when when it talks about cigar i don't really think it talks about tobacco as such it talks about more about the ash that you get you know from a cigar you know from that you know when you throw it out you get that ash smell that is what you kind of get and that smell uh, will be with you for like 45 minutes to one hour after that uh, and this also kind of fizzles out very fast now surprisingly i tested this in bangalore at home and i got the same type of results 20 25 minutes later it's not there on your skin uh, i am here uh, uh, in another place and this is inside the ac environment and i still get the same type of performance so the performance is poor on uh, ammo and uh, cigar 
and you g- get that ash smell and like i said initially uh, you know this is not for somebody to you know think about wearing these and you know you are expecting compliments or you are expecting people to come closer and you know, give you a mass appealing fragrance it's definitely not these are very unique in their own blends uh, the only thing about uh, the flip side about these fr- fragrances is that it, they do not perform really well so even this cigar uh, first 10 15 minutes you kind of get that smell after that it's that dry down and the dry down is not a very nice sweet kind of a thing it's a very uh, ashy that kind of a thing and then you know it kind of lingers on for some time after about 45 minutes or so it kind of fizzles out so there is no performance on even this one as well so this is cigar from the house of wildstone now the one that really stuck on and is like really good is whiskey Now this one they have done a fab job on this particular one the reason being is when you put this particular one of course you get that alcohol blast no doubt about I'd put on a, a few in my hand but let me go back to it again so this one um, what i really like about this is this has got that alcohol blast but that settles off in a few seconds but after that this kind of opens up and you get that nice boozy vibe to it so this one doesn't really talk about a lot of notes it primarily talks about talks about only whiskey okay as a note but then uh, for me i feel the whiskey is very uh, uh, you know combined with things like cinnamon and all of that so you kind of get a nice little bit of a sweet vibe to it and this uh, sweet vibe uh, also you can think about tobacco fragrances that have got a little bit of sweet vibe will also smell a little like this so i was trying to find uh, resonance of this particular fragrance with any other og that i was thinking uh, i might have smelled something like this but i'm not really 100% sure but so that's why i would say that these are quite well done when it comes to the scent profile okay now the good thing about wildstone is uh, of whiskey is that this one performs okay so you get about 4 5 hours of performance easily on your skin and the dry down is also pretty nice you kind of get that a little bit of that coffee vibe kind of a dry down you know as it go uh, goes but then it is a really nice uh, fragrance so to say so this one will project you for good 30 40 minutes in the initial phase but after that you know it goes into that dry down and the dry down is also nice it's 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 a uh, not a very sweet kind of element but then you will kind of like the scent profile that it develops with and uh, people who have tried it also you know have been very happy about the performance of uh, whiskey so that with this is done pretty nicely i would say Yeah, you get that a little bit of that coffee vibe kind of a thing along with that little bit of boozy element. Uh, not the um, boozy element type of angel share where you uh, angel share also has got that boozy element, but then it's got a little bit of that um, uh, you know dry down which is very very different. Not like even um, uh, Kuthe. Okay, it's not like that kind of a boozy element. No, no coconut vibe kind of a thing, but it's got a little bit of that whiskey kind of a, a mature thing going on and a little bit of that you know. coffee element so that way it's kind of done pretty decently i would say uh, so this is nice so of the three that we kind of have which is amo cigar and whiskey i would say uh, whiskey is really well done cigar is okay but i would still say you can skip these two if you're planning to get uh, not really worth it uh, this is definitely worth it's okay so again think about this don't think about the picking up this and think that okay you're going to get like a very niche smelling fragrance and all of that that's not the case while the name is whiskey um it's got a very strong alcohol blast like i said uh, but the thing is that you might if you're spending uh, i think these three will cost you about 600 rupees and i think in the amazon uh, sale i got it for about 300 rupees that's why i decided to review this in the first place uh, as a gifting element it is for strictly for somebody who loves fragrances and who is willing to try every type of fragrances this is not for somebody who loves fragrances who wants to wear designer type of fragrances fresh no definitely not for them it is for somebody who likes dark fragrances mature fragrances you know and you know who just loves fragrances on the whole it is for them okay you can get this as a casual fragrance okay not as something like i said as a niche or a, you know a special fragrance that you want to have in your collection definitely no as a very casual approach you can definitely get these so this is what i have you know this are my thoughts about this particular uh, collection i actually speaking i was actually expecting a little more <clears throat> please uh, ignore my voice i've been uh, having a little bit of a cough for a couple of days 
I was really expecting a little more from cigar because I think the way the name smelled, I thought it should be more sweet tobacco and a little bit of a woody base, a little bit of vanilla element, but surprisingly not. And Ammo, I really thought by the name, it should be like a beast performing uh, fragrance kind, loud, bold, that kind of thing. Surprisingly, not the name. So it's more like, uh, you know, don't judge by the book, uh, by the cover of the book, right? It's kind of like that. But whiskey, yes, of definitely you can kind of get this. So that is my thought about Wildstone's uh, badass collection and uh, uh, if you like this kind of videos please subscribe and follow me i do also have coming up i have beardos set of fragrances that will come uh, that will take a couple of weeks to review but i do have uh, the other collection from uh, blanco which is a set of seven fragrances and i think there's a lot of um, inquiries about that i will definitely be reviewing that as well follow me on instagram and facebook for more uh, videos and uh, you know topics of these types. Until then, see you next time. My name is Rodney. Take care. Bye from the Perfume Experience.